My name is Steph. Just thought I would say hi because I'm starting a new blog. So I thought this would be a good thing to do. So I'm just sitting in bed right now. Um, I'm actually pretty tired. Um, I've been studying for a microbiology class all day. It's really boring stuff. It's just like memorizing really long words and what words match up with those words that are also really long. Mostly four syllables or more. Anyway, um, I've been taking some of this stuff right here. Yeah, I feel like Christmas pajamas on. It's pretty awesome. You can see the cord. But yeah, this stuff right here is really cool. I got this in Oregon actually. Um, I get like kind of seasonally depressed, so I'm always trying to find things that work well. And I have to say, this is a really good mix. It has um, ashwagandha in it, which is actually like one of my favorite herbs ever. It's um, an adaptogenic herb. So it's really good at helping your immune system and helping you adapt to stress response. So, um, you know, I'm juggling a lot of things right now, like work and school and relationships and friends and, you know, just the usual what everybody does. But, you know, I've been doing like 14, 15 hour days lately and I'm not really used to that. And I think that's kind of crazy to do, like long term, but it's kind of just like the way things are right now. But yeah, this is really helping. Um, ashwagandha, um, I just find that whenever I'm taking it, um, I, d I still get stressed out about things, but um, my body doesn't react as much. I'm just able to think about things more logically like and persevere. Just, I feel like everybody kind of needs that nowadays. <laughs> um, it also has St. John's wort, which is interesting because I've taken that one before and had kind of adverse effects. I might have taken too much of it. Um, but that's an antidepressant type of herb. Um, a lot of people take it for depression. Um, I don't have strong depression. Um, I mostly just, you know, get a little down in the winter. But um yeah, St. John's wort is great. Um I think if you take it too often, um it can give you like sexual problems, like you won't be able to have an orgasm. But um I haven't experienced that lately, which is good. This also has skull cap and prickly ash bark. Um skull cap is a really good um anti-anxiety herb. Um, as for prickly ash bark, I don't know about that one as much, but I will have to do some research. Um, yeah, so I'm applying to grad school soon. Um, that's kind of crazy. And I think, I feel like this thing isn't really keeping up with my voice as I talk, which could be a problem. I might have to record some other way. But I have like a million things on my computer. And it's kind of like ready to crash if I don't delete certain things. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just been applying or getting ready to apply to grad school, which is like kind of crazy and scary. But that's basically been my life. Um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm kind of leaning more towards going for oriental medicine instead of naturopathic medicine now. Because um, honestly, I'm a lot more interested in Eastern stuff and just the way of viewing the body as opposed to like segmenting it into all these like biochemical systems that just drive me crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been having a lot of fun with like organic chemistry or non organic chemistry or microbiology. It's just kind of a nightmare to me, honestly. I mean, I'm glad that I've been building that knowledge. And I feel like it's going to help with something someday, maybe if I, like, write or, you know, want to be, um, want to know, like, academic medical stuff. 
but um, yeah, it's kind of a really big pain right now. I really want to just like learn about herbs and stuff like that and acupuncture. Um, yeah, um, emotion and healing techniques. That's really fascinating stuff. I would love to learn some of that. And yeah, one of the schools I'm looking at um, has like a medical astrology class. It's like Chinese astrology, um, but used in like a medical sense. Like you can look at someone's constitution better if you know their um, their birth date, and you can kind of figure out like what elements are. Um, affecting them in their life. I find that really, really fascinating. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to update soon with, like, some more positive stuff. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. Have a good day or night. <laughs>